Hey everybody, welcome to Scribbles with Jonathan, episode 35. I'm your host, Jonathan Rector. You guys can check out my work at jonathanrector.com. You can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, my username is artbyjar. And I want to apologize real quick. I know this video is going to come across as a little short, uh, a little lackluster in the content, I I would call it. Um, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a very quick topic that I can talk about very quickly and show you guys... Um, how I go about separating line art uh, from my page. Uh, so I could use that to color, um, I could use it to change the color of the line art itself. Yeah, I've seen a lot of tutorials online. Um, actually, I've seen very few, if any, that do it the way I do it. And I'm not saying mine's the best, but whatever, I'll show you guys how to do that. And uh, to wrap it up, I just wanted to talk a cu about a couple things, uh, some contests that are coming up, and some yada yada yada. So. Let's get into the content. Um, okay, so first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to File Open. Just going to open up a piece of art here that we can test on. And uh, it's actually a picture we did uh, last Wednesday on the Live Scribbles with Jonathan show that you can find out on Ustream. Um, and it's a character I'm going to talk a little bit more about in my video journals uh, for my All Ages comic. Uh, and his name is The Mighty Mustache. <laughs> so let me just crack it open here. All right, so here we go. And again, I'll talk a little bit more about this guy in another video. Uh, I'll be releasing it today as well. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you click up on my channel, I uh, over in, I believe it's playlists, I have uh, my video journal going there, so you guys can follow that. Maybe you get a little interested in that. Okay, so what I do is when I scan my art, usually I go grayscale unless there's colors I need to get rid of, like blues or reds, like if it's on an actual comic board. Uh, but this is just a regular piece of paper, so I scan it in grayscale, okay? Now, what I would usually do, I'm not going to go into the fancy stuff of inking or anything like this, but if you do ink it, um, the same rules are going to apply. I, I say keep in uh, grayscale, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you go to image, mode, uh, grayscale. Make sure it's always in grayscale that you're working with. You don't want to worry about colors and stuff just yet. Okay. So let's say now is the moment we're going to start uh, affecting the actual line art. We want to separate it from the white in the background. Okay. So as you can see, I only have one layer. And what I do is I just click, left click, drag, and put it over onto a new layer right here, near here at the bottom. And it just basically makes a carbon copy of uh, the actual uh, image that we had before. So I click on the background. It'll say background there. It'll be locked. And what you can do here is you can double click, and new layer is going to come up. Just hit OK. And what it does is it basically unlocks it. So now that I have that, over in your colors, if you press D, it'll go to your default colors. Uh, but I go for the, just a basic white, alt backspace on that background layer, and if I were to turn off my above layer, basically now we have our white piece of paper behind it. Okay, um, So now I'm going to turn back on the copy layer that we have, and this is where it gets cool. Now we go to image, mode, RGB color, and I'm not sure if it works for CMYK, but if you want, you can go to RGB for now to separate it and then change it later. Uh, so click RGB color. It's going to ask you if you want to merge or flatten anything. Just say don't merge. And it'll do its thing. Okay, so now nothing's changed. But if you go down here, uh, and, and your layout may be a little different. Uh, I separated my layers so I had a different window, but it'll be layers, history, channel, paths, and all that good stuff. Uh, what you want to do is find your channels tab. And now you're going to have all four highlighted. Okay, and that's what you want. So what we're going to do now is down here at the bottom, there's like a little circle. It's called load channel as selection. Click that. And once it does its thing, I probably should have changed the image size so it doesn't take so long to load. <laughs> okay, and you'll see all these little dancing lines on there. That's fine. What you're going to want to do now is make sure your background copy is still selected. You haven't changed anything. Just press delete. And then once you press delete, uh, control D for deselect. And as you can see, your, your, your art's going to look really washed out. And that is totally not what we want. So what you're going to want to do now is on the layers again, your actual background copy, that layer, lock it, right at the top here, lock that, and go back over to your colors, press D for default again, make sure you got a nice black, and just press Alt Backspace to fill it. And there you go, you've got your line art, okay? So if you wanted to, uh, basically now you're good to go. So if I were to click on my background layer, and maybe make a new layer in between it, and let's just say I wanted to do like a, uh, an explosion in the background. So I'll just pick like a, a dark red, and I'll fill, and as you can see right away, uh, you know, anything I do is going to be in between those layers, uh, just like anything else in Photoshop would do. But let's say you wanted to color those layers. Uh, if you click on background copy and make sure it's still locked, uh, let's say we're going to make them a bright red, just for now. 
I'm going to get my brush. I'll press B for brush. I'm just going to pick one up here. Uh, I believe this one will do the job. And uh, pick a different color other than your background. Let's say I just wanted this guy to be like he's shooting an energy blast from this giant mustache that he has. Uh, and I want it to glow red. So let me just zoom in. Just going to zoom in on his face. Look at this guy. <laughs> Okay, and now uh, you just be careful, but I'm going to do it real quick just to show you. And uh, once you start drawing over it, basically all the, the line, all your lines that you have are going to turn that color. And I'll just go real quick across it just so you can see. And it does look a little goofy, and as you can see, there's like a white outline. That's basically because it's when I scan this image, it's picking up uh, the canvas that I was drawing on, like the texture of the paper. And that's something you might want to clean up if you're digitally inking and stuff like that, but... I'm just going to press Alt Backspace to fill it, just so you guys can see. So now the entire line art is uh, red. Let me change it blue so you guys don't go blind here. Might pop a little better. Ah, that's terrible. Yellow? <laughs> Yellow maybe be better? I don't know. The, the red's not, I guess that's a little bit better. we got like a hot dog colored picture here, but... Uh, now you can see, like, now you got your entire line art if you want to change it. So, I mean, I hope that helps you out if you guys uh, have any concerns about that. Um, okay, so I guess we're done. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, one thing that I did want to uh, show you guys real quick, I'm just going to pop up my webpage. Uh, if you go to jonathanrector.com, this is what you're going to see. Uh, there's, I think there was two things I wanted to talk about, but uh, the first one, if you just click up here on blog, it'll bring you to my blog. And okay, now I remember the two things I wanted to talk to you. Uh, the first one is right here. Where it says the standard issue one contest. Click me for more info. Uh, this is what I wanted to uh, direct your guys' attention to. Uh, there's a comic book that John Lee's and I did, uh, and as well as Kel Natal did the the lettering. And basically, when you click that, it's going to show you. Here's the comic right here. It's a comic we made, uh, and I, we have a little contest going on here. And I've even made a YouTube video as well for more information. That's basically all the information right here that I've uh, already included. But I just put in a video to try to talk about it in case you know. Something I said didn't really come across that well. Um, we'll talk about the prizes we're doing. Uh, you know, you can get a free comic, all that good stuff. So I just wanted to po uh, point you guys to that as well. And real quick, on the blog as well, I'm going to have this up for about a month, month and a half. Or I should say, sorry, the contest actually ends October 31st. So if you guys want to get on on that, I, I suggest you guys uh, try to do what you can. And the other real quick thing I want to talk about that's going to be up for about a, a month and a half is over here on the right, I've added a uh, poll. Uh, just basically asking a question, uh, if you were to purchase an art book slash sketchbook, how much would you pay, and would you prefer it in color, black and white, or does that even matter? And I've included four options here. So the first option would be a 30 to 50 page book, that's 15 to 25 dollars, but it's full color, um, or a 30 to 50 pages, but it's 10 to 15 dollars for black and white, and then your other option would be 100 to 140 pages, which would be a trade paperback style, uh, for 30 to 40 dollars in full color, or 100 to 140 pages for 20 to 30 dollars, just black and white. Um, even if you guys don't intend on buying any of this, uh, if you could find it in your heart <laughs> to come by and just put a vote in there, uh, just so I get an idea of what people that visit my site would be interested in. Because what I plan on doing is by January or February, I want to release, uh, every year I want to start releasing an art book. And this year's art book is going to be a superhero themed art book. And what it's going to be is client work that I've done, um, full page comics that I've done. Uh, a lot of it is stuff that I haven't even posted on the internet, basically because it's under either NDA or it's just client related or it's a, a like concepts that you know most people don't care some people prefer just finished illustrations but I'll get more into that stuff later I just wanted to have an, an idea of what people would be interested in and uh, stuff like that so thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you guys had a good time I hope you learned some stuff and thanks for sticking around for this and again you guys can go to jonathanrector.com to find more art about my uh, about what I do and if you guys want to follow me on Twitter right here just uh, at art by jar and you guys can uh, check me out there so thanks so much take care and have a great week bye